Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can create your own e-commerce online shopping website. You can use it to sell any type of products you want, whether you want to sell candles, t-shirts, jewelry, accessories or any other thing. You can also sell digital products like PDF books or some courses or anything like that. And for that you do not need any type of technical or coding knowledge. All you have to do is follow step by step instructions. I will show you exactly how to start from scratch and create your own online shopping website. And for this, we need two main things. First is our website name, which is also called domain name. And second most important thing is hosting. Hosting is where all the processing of your website will happen. All the information of your customer, all your product details, all your product images, everything is stored there and processed from there. So for an e-commerce website, there are a lot of functionalities that requires a lot of resources because on an e-commerce website, a lot of things is happening at the same time. Multiple people are viewing products. They are using filters. They are want to use the different variations. The inventory needs to be updated in real time and the, when the customer places their order, you have to ensure that they have a good experience. All the information gets updated on time because if there is an issue, you will lose sales and you will lose money. Also, you will lose your reputation. Your customer will not come back to your website if they see your website is not working. So it's very important that you create a professional website that works properly ensure your customer will have a good experience. So Cloudwaze provides a very easy to use dashboard and they take care of a lot of things automatically like optimization, backup, security, and they also have live support in case you need help. So you can use that and focus on growing your business instead of focusing on managing your server. On this page, you have to fill your details. In promo code, you can enter SMART10. This is an exclusive promo code and this will give you extra 10% discount for the next three months if you decide to upgrade. Then click on I agree to the terms and condition and click on start free. So this is completely free to try. There is no credit card required, nothing required. You have three days to completely evaluate. So after you click on start free, you will get a email from cloud-based team like this. And this will have a activation account link. So simply click on that. And okay, it is showing my account is activated. So I will directly log in. Okay, so this is the cloud-based dashboard. From here to create your first website, what you have to do is first select the application and name of your application now i'm going to select between vulture and DigitalOcean because personally i have used vulture services and so i'm going to select that but you can also select DigitalOcean. now here you have to select high frequency or standard so i would suggest high frequency for e-commerce website from here, select the server that is closest to your audience. You can see some servers are not available right now. I will select Canada and then click on launch now. Adding server process has started and you can see it will take approximately 30 min 13 minutes. So you will have to wait till the server is added to your cloud-based account. Okay, so the server installation process is complete now and now we can access our WordPress application by clicking here. Just click here and then you will see all the application attached to the server. So I will click here and this will take me to the application details page. From here we can access our WordPress website. WordPress and everything is already installed. All you have to do is click here and this will open your website in a new tab. Now you will see this warning because the SSL certificate is not installed yet. Do not worry, this is our, our own website and there is nothing malicious or anything on this site. Click here, click on advance, click on proceed. Now you can see this is our website and right now this will show not secure. Uh, we will fix it soon, okay? So this is the default WordPress page. Now we can also go to the admin area of WordPress to make sure everything is working properly. 
let's go back here then click here and this will open the admin area let's go again here and copy the username and password so from here i will you can also change it from here so now we'll go here and type my username and paste my password let's see if this is copied properly or not then click on login okay so we have finally logged into the admin area we can access it and everything seems to be working perfectly okay the site health status is good and uh, nice so now when we go to our website there is only one issue uh, this domain is a temporary domain that cloudways give you so you can test everything and make sure it's working you can do that speed test and all of that let me show you one speed test um, we can go here let's go here and I will compare it so this is a speed test that I already did before creating this video I was testing cloudways and that's you saw how amazing speed test results were okay so there's some issue let's first uh, fix our website properly and then we will do the speed test so we need to buy a domain name now and for that Go to my website smarthelpguides.com slash GoDaddy. The link will also be in the description. From here, you can find all the GoDaddy discount coupons available. So here is the domain code. And click on it and you will be able to see the code. And the website will open in a new tab. And you will be able to directly purchase the, your domain name. Let's go to GoDaddy here. Search for your domain name. Click on search domain now you will see this is not available so I will search for something else I will just add some random numbers here okay then click on search again okay complete your purchase just click here make it yours and then click on continue to cart this process is fairly simple okay now one thing you should notice GoDaddy is now offering full US protection for free with almost all domains uh, so we do not need this full domain protection thing okay this is just extra charge click on no domain protection you can untick this as well if you want or you can keep this ticked um, it doesn't really matter as much now we can um, click here no thanks right now and then click on continue to cart And from here, um, select one year or if you want to buy it for a longer duration, you can do that. The price will automatically change. You can see the promo code uh, has been automatically applied. So you do not have to do this. And these offers keep changing. So you can always find the best one on my website. Then click on I'm ready to pay. You will have to sign up if you do not already have a GoDaddy account and add your card details, address and everything. So that's pretty simple. I have already purchased my domain so I will show you what the details you will get once you purchase a domain you will see get an email like this and uh, this will mention your order number and your domain name so this is my domain name I purchased for this tutorial smartclouds.shop okay now what we have to do is once the purchase is complete go to GoDaddy and uh, this will actually automatically redirect you but still I'm going to show you how you can access it okay go to website here sign in then go to my products from here you will be say, able to see all the hosting domain email anything that is connected to your GoDaddy account here you will see this domain so I just purchased this domain smartclouds.shop click on this three dots here go to manage DNS and you will see this option first option here in DNS records you will see this a record name should be at the rate and this data so this data you have to there will be something else you will have to replace it with the IP of your cloudways server for that let's go to cloudways here from here you will be see able to see this application credential public IP click copy this okay you can just also manually copy it okay and uh, so for some reason the auto copy is not working 
okay so we just copy it here again go to godaddy dns management from here click on this edit icon here and then replace the, this value with the ip you just copied and make sure that there is no extra space like it just happened so now i have removed all the extra spaces here okay then simply click on save so this will update the dns record and you will see this message the dns record has been updated successfully and this will take some time to finally reflect okay so for that how to check if the dns record has been updated or not again go to my website smarthelpguides.com and on the top header here you will see this option check dns records click on it and this will open this website lookmydns.com this is a complete free service for anyone who wants to check the DNS records. Put your domain name here. You can find it here or from the GoDaddy as well. Um, this is the, our domain name. So I will just copy it and go here, sit here. Now I will click on A and then click on find. So you can see this is the current IP address that all the DNS servers across the globe are uh, able to see. So now let's go to our cloud-based dashboard and see if this IP is the same IP or value that is reflected here. If this is same, it means the DNS propagation is complete and now we will be able to see our website access it on this domain. Okay, let's go to cloud-based dashboard and update our domain management. Go here, domain management, enter your domain name here. Do not add www.https or anything. Just enter your domain name without any extra spaces or anything. Okay, click on save changes. So the domain adding process is complete. You will see this is the domain now. Now if we go to access details here, you will see the temporary domain has been replaced with this. Now let's click here and see. Okay, so we can access our website here. I will click the temporary uh, domains here. I will close this pages here. Now we can also visit our website and see from this domain. So now you do not see the temporary URL here anymore. Now there is another issue that we have to install the SSL certificate. Um, right now you can see it's showing secure for me, but for you it will not show that and the reason is because we need to install the SSL certificate. So do you, from here you can see uh, there is already one SSL certificate installed here. So I already did that for testing purpose. I will revoke my certificate and show you once again. So this is how it will look by default. Select let's encrypt here, then put your email address here your domain name here and then click on install certificate if you want to install wildcard card certificate it's uh, you will have to add some DNS records so I will simply install the certificate right now it's done you can see the certificate has been issued for 24 December now okay and in case you need any help you can always click here and reach out to the support team okay now you can refresh the website and you, you will be able to see the SSL secure option now but this can also take some time because of the caching so what you can do to verify is try using another browser like I'm using Chrome so you can try with Edge or something you do not need to actually worry about it this will actually happen automatically so there's nothing you have to do you have the SSL certificate issuing process is complete now from here let's make our normal website which looks like this right now and turn it into an e-commerce online shopping website i will close all the extra pages here and from so the first step to create your e-commerce website is to go to settings go here permalinks and click on select this post name so it can be the custom structure so you have to select post name this is the best option Click on save changes and now let's go to appearance go to themes click on add new and search for a theme called Astra now you can see it is already showing here so I will click on install and this is completely free you do not have to pay anything click on activate 
Normally with other hosting, you will not see this kind of performance that it gets installed, activated, everything happens almost instantly. With this is the advantage of Cloudways and a VPS hosting. Now we have to go here, go to Astra options. From here, click on install importer plugin. Click on build your website now. We will select the block editor. You can also select the Elementor or Beaver Builder if you have used them before. Um, so it completely depends on your preference. So from here, there are many templates available. Um, some are not working. Um, okay. So I like this template. Uh, unfortunately, it is not showing the picture here, but do not worry. Um, I will just click here and then we can preview what this template will look like on our website before selecting which one we want. So I really like this one and it looks really it's simple, elegant and uh, perfect for e-commerce kind of website. Okay, so these this is the template and you do not even have to worry about anything. Like you do not need to hire a designer or plan everything from scratch because that's very difficult and too time consuming. So we can, what we can do is import this template and edit all the images and data with our own shop and then you know do things from there. So if you want to select something else, you can go back here, okay? And then again, go here. And then for example, if you prefer this one, you can click here and then you will be able to see the, uh, how the preview will look, okay? So this is how it looks. This is also an amazing template, but I will select the simply natural one for this tutorial as I have prepared how to. And now you can see the all the preview again. So I have finalized it. You can also upload the logo from here, but we can we will do that later. Click on skip and continue. Um, right now we will keep everything at default and customize it later. Click on continue. Then from here, if you want, you can fill your details and you will get the newsletters and everything. Um, and then the, these settings are mandatory. So apart from this, if you want, then you can opt for that, okay? But you have to keep the settings strict. Otherwise the importer plugin will not work properly. Click on submit and build my website. So this importing process will take about a minute or so and then we will be able to customize our website uh, add products and everything and then i will show you a full demo how the whole thing will work with vps hosting actually it's done pretty fast so uh, i did not even have to pause the video so you can see it just took 19 seconds to build it i think it was even less than that let's click on view your website and you can see the difference let me show you here on the right side you can see this is how our website looked before and this is how our website looks right now isn't this amazing and see how we can how quickly we can just uh, make our website e-commerce website like this so i will show you all how our website uh, store looks like let's close this click here exit to dashboard then from here, I can go to our visit store. Okay, so this is how our store looks right now. We can click on any product we want. You will see the price, shipping, and we can add it to cart. Then go to cart here, and then you will be able to see this options. Okay, so now I will show you everything, how you can customize, add your own products, and some of the essential settings that you need to get started. Let's go back to the dashboard here. Now I would suggest to uh, create the first pages first for refund policy and terms and condition. Go here pages, go to all pages and you will see this by default that these are published pages and this is in draft. So usually in draft you will see the pages. Um, Okay, so um, there is no terms and condition and refund. So if that's the case, we can 
add one click on add new so here first i will create terms and conditions so for a business it is really important to have these essential pages here you can list um, how much time it takes to deliver okay and if you want to take some inspiration go visit your favorite uh, e-commerce website and see how they have written there and from there you can take um, see the see how it works you know what details you need to add what will be applicable for your shop so i will just create this uh, temporary page here because for some settings it is essential and then show you more how to do it later okay. so once you click on publish um, just the page is live now let's go here and it is exit now we will create another one for our refund and returns policy With some templates, these pages are already available. Um, all right, so I will again publish it here. And this page is also live. Okay, so now let's go back to the dashboard and again go to pages here, go to all pages. Now you will see there is a refund and return policy page. Um, there will be one, the terms and condition we just created. Let's scroll down here. This is here. And there's one privacy policy so wordpress automatically creates a draft page um, let me show you the preview of it so this is how uh, this is the draft page but you have to uh, change some settings like if you're using google analytics or any other thing that um, you'll have to include that you know that's how you are processing the data and everything so this is a draft page and i will go to edit page here and if it is in draft mode that means it's like not published okay so i will just click on publish here now okay so this is also live and now anyone can see this page okay so you will have to edit the content and make it relevant for your website um, okay so we have created these pages i will close them here all the extra thing now let's go to dashboard and let's see how we can add a product okay Go to products here, then go to add new. So here, put your product name. Then here, you will have to add lot of uh, the more advanced details. So for this for demo, I'm going to add this details and paste it here. Okay. So similarly, you can add the details about your product. So basically, it will it this is this will be the big description. Um, let's go here. I will refresh it. And if we check any product description here, for example, this. So this is the short description. You what you see here, and this is the uh, long description. Okay. So what we are adding here is the long description right now. Okay. So uh, similarly, you can add what is relevant for your product. And scroll down, click simple product here. So this is just one plant with no variation, no size difference, no color, anything. I will put it at $10 here. Um, we can also change the currency and everything, which I will show you very soon. And then go here and then now we have to add the short description okay now let's go here and then add a product image so either you can if you have already uploaded then you can upload select something from your media files or you can go to upload files then select here from here you have to select which images you want to upload so for main image let's say i will select this one and then click on set product image so this is just one image here and you can always preview if what are the changes you have made 
So right now it looks like this. There are no other images. I will go back here and then scroll down. I will add some more images. Click on add product gallery images. Go to upload files, select files, and then select all the other files that you want to upload. So I will select these three files because I have already uploaded this one. Click on open. And make sure that the file images are optimized and not like very big file size because that will take time to load. Click on add to gallery and then we have to select a product category. I will select plant. You can also add new one. Click on add new category and then similarly you can add product tags. Then we have to scroll up and then click on publish. Let's go and view our product here. So this is the product we just listed and that's how simple it is to list your products on your e-commerce website. This is the main image. We can also zoom in and see all the details here. So your visitors will, will be able to do that. Then we can also see the other images of this product. Okay. So these images are not mine. This is just for temporary purpose. Okay. We can see the short description here. Then if we scroll down, you can see the long description about here. You can also see the reviews and everything. And here we can also see the related products. This will depend on the category or tags. So if they are they have the same tags then it they will show up here or if they are in the same category that's how it works now if we want we can add it to our cart and you can see it has been added we can view our cart and here now we can apply a coupon code and proceed to checkout so first we need to generate a coupon code now this was a very simple product i will show you another product demo how it works let's go back here close the extra pages and click on add new again so this time I will add house plant with different sizes okay now this is useful if you're selling something like you know t-shirt or something else accessories or anything that has variations like different sizes, different color. So that's how you can list it here. I will show you. Um, again, I will copy paste the description from here like before. And scroll down. Now we have to select variable product from here. So what is a SKU if you are thinking? Um, SKU is basically the unique code that you uh, use to identify your product. So it can be PL001. Um, we'll not go into other advanced settings right now. Uh, another thing is we have to go to attributes here. Let's click it on a new tab. Actually, we should have done this before. So I have already done this. Uh, I will delete them and show you how, to, how it works. So let's say I want to uh, add something called size. I will take this enable in archives. Here I will select its a uh, label type shape. Let's keep a default and click on add attributes. From here, let's go to configure items. So I will add um, smart S here and then click on add new size. And similarly, I will add again, this time L. Click on add new size. So again, if you want to again change the um, attributes, what you have to do is go to attributes again. Let's say I also want to have different colors. Select color here. Okay, now I will add some colors here. Oops. 
select here you can either pick anything manually from here or you can add the color code here or you can pick from here i will choose this option select add new color and i will add another green in the description you can put like what type of green is or whatever anything you want i will select green here and then click on add new color so um, now we have added the attributes um, we should have done this earlier before adding the variable product okay now we will go to attributes here click custom attributes so you will see this option uh, i will add it here now let's say i want to use you will see this option you can also select the select all option or select none option or you can manually um, search and add what you want okay, i will put red and so this is how you can do it and you can use this um, used for variation click on save attributes it's done now we will go to variations here then we can add create variation from all attributes click on go here okay four variations have been added um, so these are the variations possible so this will automatically do it uh, one red large red small green red, um, large green small so click on expand here now what you have to do is upload different images for different variations so for example here i will have to add a red color image so unfortunately i didn't uh, prepare one so i will select this one this has some red click on set variation image and again i will select red one here uh, so if you have different image for the small product or small size then you can do that or green I will just add this one and uh, we can select this and again for this one I will select okay, so that's how you will have to select um, different images and you can also uh, put different SKU price everything so here we can select our default uh, value here if you want let's select this green one and large one i will add the prices let's say this is 12 this is um, 15 this is 10 and this one is 9 okay so for the i will click on save changes and all the changes have been saved you can again expand and see it okay so now let's um, in short description i will add what i added earlier okay now again go here and then select one product image this will be the main product image so if you want again you can select the gallery images um, but i will not do that right now then click on the category then tag click on publish let's view how this listing looks like so this is how it looks so you can see here the difference this we can change the variation so if i want a red and large one i will select this um, or if i want a small one then i will select this if i want a green one and a large one then i will select this you will notice that the price also changes the pick also changes okay if i select the small one see it becomes 15 dollar so that's how we can add variations and we can see the description and there is now an additional information tab uh, this is the color one and this is the sizes okay so that's how you can add product list products that has variations now we can again similarly uh, we can also see the sku information here you can add to cart and purchase it
Now before showing you a demo how the purchase works, let me show you how you can customize it and then I will show you how the demo of this uh, final ordering process works. Let's go here to our home page and this is how it looks. Okay, right now you can see here all these images are featured. So if you want to change anything here, let's say you want something dis different here. What you have to do is go to the dashboard. To go to dashboard, we can go it from here. Okay. And from here you will see right now, if you go to all products, you will see a lot of products are already present and these products are part of the demo content of the template we used. So what you can do is you can uh, delete everything if you want. So I will just untick this. Uh, these are the products we just added and everything else was pre-added. So if I want to do delete them, I can click on move to trash, click on apply. And now we only have two products available. So if I refresh the page now, you will see on the home page there are no featured products. Um, these are only the sample. Okay, so to add feature products here, you have to go here, click on this. Okay, if I uh, click the start thing here, then go here and refresh it. You can see the plant is now here in the featured section. You can also add the, the other one. And um, so if you have a lot of products, like 20 products, so you can only put like 10, five, it will make sense to five to seven, you know, um, just how it looks good for you. You can feature those plants. Okay, so now let's go here and customize it. Now if we have to add or change any images, all these details, and right now if you click on shop now, nothing happens because it is not linked to our store page. So we have to link to these. We can also, we have to link the C collection thing. Um, right now there's nothing. And from here, we have to edit this testimonials or remove them if you want and all these things. Okay, so right now all this pages links are not working. If you click on it, nothing happens. So for that, what you can do is click on edit page. And here you will see this. Now just um, select the area you want to edit. Now if I want to edit this, what I can do is go to style here. Then I will see this change image option. I can uh, select that. I've already shown you how to upload the images. And now I will select from something that's already available here. So I can select this one and then click on select. You can see this image will automatically get replaced. Now let's say I want to add the, this text here. So I can select that um, and make it amazing house plants on sale. Okay. Now if I don't want uh, like the J here, you can go here and you can see the content. If I want, you can change the tags also how the size is. So to change this, um, we have to change the title color here. Okay. Now that's how it works. Okay. Um, amazing house plants on sale. And now let's say I want to uh, link this. So here either I can just um, select here. I can also click on link this and I want them to go to our store link. So I will go to store here. I will copy this link and go here and I can paste it here. Then select this URL and now this will link to the uh, store page. So there are other ways to do it too. From here, you can select call to action and change the button style if you want. You can see here. And you can also put the link here and now this button will uh, go to this link. Okay, now you can select where you want to open this new tab or not. Um, similarly, you can scroll down here and then select what you want to edit. Okay, um, let's say you want to replace these images so you can um, directly do that from here. 
you select this and from here you can um, change the image from here again like this let's say you want to use this one and it is done so that's how simple it is and you can change all the stuff and you can go to style here then you can change more things okay um, let's say you want to see this collection you want to edit that so you go to call to action and then link it here you can also see uh, I will link it actually to my category let's go here and this is the category I want to link it to so I'll put it here and then um, you can select update here and then it will be done now let's go here and do not edit the short code, short code for the featured plans now you can edit the stack text it's pretty simple so will not show you that and similarly I will if I want I can edit this link okay. then click on update here now let's view our page so you can see the image has been replaced the uh, font color has been changed button style has been changed also if I click here this will take you to the shop actually okay so that's how simple it is you can also change this button text I didn't I should have now you can see the image is also new and the C collection link is actually working it's linking to the uh, product category page you can link to any page you want and from here let's scroll down so we need to edit these links okay now this link is also working so to change the logo and site name and all that stuff we have to use the customize option let's click here and now we can change anything about this so go to global here from here you can change the font so whatever you do change here will be applied across the site let's uh, if I change here, you can see this font automatically changed everything will be changed okay so you can reset it to the default if you want from here um, first thing I think I really like what is the default setting so I will not change anything we'll go back here you can also change the color here so if you want to change this color so I will select um, this you can see this should change you can see the button color has changed so all the button colors will change you will see the changes also applied here so this is the global color settings okay you can also uh, change the individual uh, items settings but what changes you apply here will be applied globally I will reset it and you can see both the button and the scart color has changed go back here and then uh, we can change the container here if you want it like this so you can just uh, spend some time explore how this things changes and um, then you can apply what you like we'll go here and from here you can uh, header builder so this is one of the important things so header is this part so this is the highlight you can see this in the blue box area so from here we can change the site title and logo if you want you can change it here just upload something else let's say I want this one okay now uh, description and everything so from here let's you can also go through to the design tab here now there is an interesting thing that with I'm, what I'm showing you is only using the free version but if you are using cloud base you can get the Astra Pro which costs about 50 to 60 dollar every year completely for free for the first year so I will show you some more cloud base settings um, check the description so I will create that as a separate video and let's go back here I will show you the important things I want to show you you can also go to the account here and then change things let's go here and then from uh, WooCommerce okay commerce again and let's say if I want to enable a store notice so I will click here and then you will be able to see uh, store notice here okay so you can use this for like if there's any special sale going on or something you can put like um, super sale going on uh, use code coupon code best something okay 
and then you can decide where it should be visible on top or bottom and then click on publish um, let's go back here and in miscellaneous you can see this plus minus option let me show you the product um, if I go to any product page <coughs> Um, here you will see that to add or change the quantity I have to do it like this and then click on add to cart now if I enable this option it makes it much easier to change the quantity with the plus minus thing okay so I like this option and I will publish it if I want to go to the product catalog page here you can see the filter thing how it works and from here if you want to change you can change the filter type and there are more options so this one design 2 also now if you want you can also increase the shop columns here so uh, because now there is only two products so it will not show uh, how it works but you can see now this one column two column three and four column here you can also decide how much products you want to display per page and you can also change this custom width okay so you can just keep it at default it will work fine now you can decide what you want to sh uh, show if you do not want the category to be visible you can um, just select that from here so i will just publish it and let's go here now the, the important thing is this uh, checkout thing. Click on proceed to check out here. And then so here I want to edit few things. So for example, I don't want this company name form to be visible. So I will just click on hidden. And if you want this to be available, optional, or you can make it required, so then it will be mandatory. You can also decide if you want the phone number to be mandatory or not, and decide um, which are important things. So from here, one of the important thing is selecting this page. So select your privacy policy and terms and condition page, and then click on publish it. Now, whenever customer wants to purchase it, they will have to uh, visit this terms and condition. Uh, they have to agree that they have agreed to this terms and condition. Okay. Now, let's go back here. Now, another important thing is this footer builder. So, um, we need to edit this links and stuff. Okay. So, either you can select it from here or by clicking here. Okay. So, this will open all the settings. Now, for example, um, okay. I will dismiss this so I have removed that notice to the top here because I was not able to see this footer so for example I don't want this powered shop option so what I will do is simply remove this element and this footer will automatically get applied okay now you can select this um, let's say you want to edit the link here you can also click do it from here click on got it and from here you can select it then let's say I want to put the link here whatever link you want to put to and um, just add that okay so that's how we can do this and then this link will be visible here then you have to publish it and it will work You can also add new things here if you want. For example, instead of this, um, I want to add a map here. Let's say I will search for map and then add this Google Maps here. Okay. And then I will publish it. Okay. So that, that's how you can add more elements also. But obviously, this is not looking good. So let's say I want to uh, remove this. Then I will publish it and it will look like this. Okay. Now the customization part, I have shown how simple it is. And similarly, you can go to any page here. Now you can edit all the pages here, like about a section, you will have to go here, then click on edit page and change the content and everything. Now let's see how the shopping process will work. 
let's go to the dashboard area again from here go to WooCommerce and go to settings now you have to fill your store details here and main important thing is your country then you have to select to which countries you are selling so example I'm only selling to the US so I will select to specific country and then I can select this also select the shipping location I will select here. once you have filled this details um, you can scroll down and then click you can also change the currency here uh, if you want to change it to anything you want okay all the options are available here you can also select the currency positions um, separator and all that then click on save changes now let's go to the products tab here from here make sure this shop page is in the shop page and it's not error and then uh, you do not have to change anything much things here you can change the measurement if you want you can keep the weight unit to kg for example if you're selling something like really small you, you can change it to gram and you can change the dimension to the millimeter okay and if that's what you want okay then click on save changes and then go to uh, shipping here i will add a simple shipping rule click on add shipping zone and from here i will select um, two i will set two rules so let's say i am um, local area one and i will select alabama option and then click on add shipping method so let's say I also sell offline so what I will do is I will allow them to pick up local pickup I will add this option and I will edit it here and it's cost is zero because it's local pickup then I will add another one so I will add flat rate so then click here and I will make it five dollars if you want it taxable or not you have to decide then click on save changes and then i will add another one i will add free shipping i will click on add free shipping then edit it here then i will set the free shipping condition so i will make it a minimum order amount or a coupon coupon um, so the minimum order amount will be um, let's say make it 100 okay and then click on save changes okay so it's done so this is for the local area only okay so you can select it let's say for the state so uh, if you're getting a cheaper rate to you know uh, ship locally then again I will go back to shipping zones here then I will add uh, add shipping zone so if you want to offer different prices for other states and region wise then you can do that again the same process yeah but I will keep it very simple I will go back to shipping zones so previously, uh, if I remember, in general settings, I have shown you that I'm selling only to the US. So I have selected a special rule for the state region. And for every other region in the US, I want to add a common shipping policy. Add shipping method, go to flat rate, edit this. Uh, for everyone else I will add ten dollars and I will also offer a free shipping and add free shipping I will make it hundred or if they have the free shipping coupon code they can use that okay so it's done and a lot of other things can be done with the shipping policies but i personally prefer to keep it simple you know because when you go to shop on amazon or any other big e-commerce website you don't want you don't see any complicated shipping policies you know it's a simple policy you buy a product worth x item you get free shipping or you have to pay your shipping charges so that's how I prefer to keep the shipping uh, thing so the customers don't get conf uh, confused and no one likes to pay extra too much extra for the shipping charges. Now we have to go to payments and from here there are several options so you can you collect payment from credit card, debit card, PayPal or uh, other options. 
it's all available here now it depends on what type of seller you are big small you know you have to select which payment processor you want to work with now for this demo i will only select this cash on delivery option so we can i can show you how the process works and i will explain this uh, talk about this more in the end of the video click on save changes here there are some more options account and privacy so i like to uh, want my customers to log in before placing the order i do not want to enable guest checkout so i will select this option and uh, if you want this guest checkout to be enabled you can select this option and i want this customer to be able to create account during checkout and they can also do it from here and if you do not want this uh, set password so you can untick this and depending on your country and local privacy laws and everything you can change the settings here then click on save changes and there are more settings but we do not need to go through them right now okay so we have set up uh, enough settings for our store to work and it should be we should be able to purchase a product now before purchasing there is another important plugin let's go here go to plugins go to add new first and here you will see this pdf invoices and packing slips click on install now click on activate and it's activated so now you will be able to see this new option pdf invoices also so whenever you will receive the order we can um, do that from here so you can also change the settings here like how you want the paper size uh, test mode can set your header logo and shop name and all that stuff you see right now there are no orders found so there's nothing to view here and let's go to our store and try placing an order go to visit store here and i will select this i want to add more quantity then click on add to cart and then view our cart here then you can see it's 30 dollars i will change the address here so right now you can see the flat rate is $10 and if I change it the address to here and update it you will see the I will see more pickup options because we set uh, enable better rates and the local pickup option. Okay right now you are not able to see the free shipping and that's because we uh, the order amount is below $100. Okay now let's uh, make this 10 now you will see this free shipping also option is also available okay now another way to do it is let's check the coupon code for that we have to generate a coupon code let's go here click on new click on coupon and i will enable a free ship code free ship free shipping for all then i will click here select this option allow this to uh, free shipping then you can set the coupon expiry date if you want that you can also enable the usage restriction that the minimum spend should be um, 50 at least and then only you can also exclude the products if you do not want this coupon to work with and you can enable this uh, check this coupon so in usage restriction, I will select um, usage limit per coupon, usage limit per user. So I want every users to be able to use it at least two times. So I will do that. So let's go free ship. Click on apply coupon and you can see the free shipping coupon has been added and that's it. Now even um, the so you can see the price is actually total amount is below $90 but still we have this free shipping option and if I remove this coupon code here you will see there is no free shipping option now okay okay now let's click on proceed to checkout and here we have to fill your our details 
okay so after filling all the details um, we will see this option right now you can see there is only cash on delivery payment option available because we have not enabled all the credit cards and other online payment option so as i said i will explain that later in the video now let's try to place the order let's take this i have read and agree to the website terms and condition click on place order okay so that's how simple it is the order has been placed your customer will see this check out thank you your order has been received order number date email um, their payment method and cash on everything so this is the special instruction billing address shipping address and everything okay so this is what your customers will see they will also get an email with this confirmation you will also get an email but right now in if you are testing the cloud-based trial hosting the emails will not work and because of because the smtp is not configured so i will explain that later now let's see how you will process the order once you receive it okay now we have to go to the dashboard area go to woocommerce here you will see there is a notification of order let's click here and you can see the stage is at processing so you can click here to see the details and you can see it's in processing stage and you can also send order email um, new order cancelled order you can also send this details in order notes you can see the order was uh, removed payment to be made upon delivery and this is so you can also delete note you can also uh, add a note here like uh, um, okay you can keep it as a private note so only with the, your you or your team who has shop manager access can see this note or if you want to send it to customer you can do this like this note to customer then click on add so the customer will get a email notification that this uh, message and they will be able to see this okay now what you can do is um, you can email the invoice if you want you can regenerate uh, permissions and stuff like that and here you will see all the details here um, there is a refund option okay and so you can also change the invoice number date if you want so this is the pdf option okay create pdf invoice and packing slip so I will print the PDF invoice and this is how it will look. So you can customize all this logo and stuff I showed you earlier. So this will contain this and now I will also print a packing slip. So after printing this, I have shipped it. So what I will do is go to here and click change the status to um, completed. Okay. So I can also change it to hold or canceled or refund or anything. So I will complete it and update it. So now the order status has been complete. You will also see a note here that order status changed from processing to complete. So your customer will also see this and you can also do it from here. You can click here and you can quickly view the order details and you can see its status also here. You can edit it and also change the order status Okay. Now, we, if you want to view, uh, basically print bulk shipping packing labels and invoices, you can do that. Right now, there is only one uh, order, so this is showing for that. You can also search for an order and print it from here. You can decide which, uh, if you want to print it on a la uh, letter size and all that. Extend currency symbol. So there, you can also set a logo here. For example, this, I'll select this. Now it will look like this. Okay, so you can also do this kind of stuff. You can also put your shop name here. And shop address in the footer here, terms and condition, you can link them. So all that will be visible here. 
So I hope that was easy to follow and now you can also create your WooCommerce site. And if you have complex business requirements, you can also accomplish that with WooCommerce. There are a lot of other things that WooCommerce can do. I have only shown you how you can get started and create your website. For accepting payment online via debit card, credit card or any other mode of online payment, you need to use a payment gateway and payment processor. So that will depend from which country you are, where your customers are located. And uh, for example, in some countries, Stripe is popular. Stripe is actually globally popular for using with e-commerce websites. And PayPal is also popular almost globally. In most countries, it is available. But they also charge different amount of fees. And in some countries, the local gateways are more, more popular. For example, in India, Razorpay UPI payment method is far cheaper and more popular than Stripe or PayPal. So depending on your country, you have to select which payment gateway you want to use and then you can search for that payment gateway plugin for WooCommerce. That, for example, if you want to use Razorpay, Stripe or PayPal, you can search for that their plugin from WooCommerce dashboard and then integrate that. So you will have to sign up for that payment processor. It usually takes few days because there is some verification. And in, again, it depends on your country. In some countries, it can be done very quickly. In some countries, it will take two, three days for the payment processor to verify that you are a real business and not just scamming people. So after you sign up and verification happens, it is pretty easy to do. All you have to provide your business details and make sure that this provide some ID proofs so that they can verify and uh, that you are a real business. And then they will give you some keys that you have to update in, the, in their plugins. And then you can start accepting the payments online. So I will provide the, in the video description more details about it. So depending on your country, I will provide what different options are available. And then from there, you can select what option you want to use. For shipping also, you can directly use the courier plugin. For example, if you are in US, you can directly use the UPS plugin and everything will get automatic. So once you receive the order, you can directly send it to the UPS and print the shipping label and everything will happen automatically. But if you are a very small business or just getting started, you may not prefer to use the automated method. You may not have the volume for, the, for signing up for business plan or whatever solution your courier company is available. Again, this will depend on your country and everywhere different courier are available. So now most popular courier services provide a plugin for to integrate with the WooCommerce. So again, you can do that and check what courier option is popular in your country and then use that service. Okay. Also, you can print the shipping labels and manually and then just ship it if you are a small business. Tax rules are also different for every country, every state. So you will have to refer to your local laws, how you want to collect the taxes. And for some countries like US, Canada, WooCommerce has auto tax calculation because if you do it manually, it gets really complicated. And in many countries, there is a minimum threshold before which you do not collect tax. You have to register for tax, you get the ID, only then you can collect the tax. So you will have to refer to your local laws. I am not a tax consultant, so I cannot advise you on that, but I can show you how the tax settings work. So for that also, I will provide the reference links in the description. Now you can refer to that and see if you have to collect tax and if you have to, how much you have to charge them, or if you don't need to, then you can untake that tax option and you know work as a small business. And then when you have to charge tax, you can also do that. So for that, please check the description. All the reference links will be available there. Please post your feedback in the comments. And if you need any help, please post that in the comments. I will try to help you out.